All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mega Soda Game Night. Uh, we have so much stuff happening tonight. Do you want to talk about our schedule? While I everybody gets logged yeah. in for uh, mybar.tv trivia. All right, after trivia at 640 is going to be Winter Wonderland. At 7 will be Wipeout Blackout. We're playing back to back games. The 55 ball is starting at over $3,200. The large frame is over 7,000 and the line win is over 400. At 720 will be the fishing derby and the large mouth is at 1,700 and the small mouth is at 500. At 740 will be top dogs high low. 8 p.m. will be the 56 ball coverall with the jackpot starting at over $10,000. Yep, so big prizes out there tonight. Uh, but we've got some big questions coming up. MyBar.TV <laughs> Trivia, it is a trivia game. You play with us. And uh, you play on your phone or on your own computer there. You just go to mybar.tv, get all logged in, click the big Play Now button. Yep. We're going to ask you ten questions, four choices on each one. Answer the most, the correctest, the fastest. You will be crowned the champion, the and <laughs> you will get to choose the topics for next week. Ooh. That is a special bonus for today. Awesome. Oh, and I need to get us going on Facebook here kind of forgot about that. I was just about to ask you about <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> let me get the Facebook stream going. One, All give me right. one good second here. And let's get that up and running. Just got to click one little button. That's it. So do we have options to choose from for next week's topic? Or is it yes. our own? Yeah, there's going to be three. So if you're the winner, you're going to get to select from three different options for next week's yep. topic. Yep, you will get three choices, and I will announce them at the end. Um, yes, so there will be three topics to choose from, and hopefully, hello Facebook. If you are watching on <laughs> Facebook, we just turned you yep, on. Just we went on. We forgot about you. I am sorry, but you didn't miss much. We just said our right. hellos yeah. and uh, got <laughs> things yeah. going here. All right, we'll give about a minute just in case there's some Facebook people getting on, want to know what's going on. Go to mybar.tv on your own phone or your own computer or your own iPad. Play along with us. See who is going to get the most correctest, the fastest. And that, well, that's <laughs> what it is. That's exactly what it is. It I is. Am, I am the host. I you make can, up the you can say what questions you want. and yeah. the answers. I can say what I want. Yep, uh, if that's you true. Were <laughs> if you were watching on Facebook earlier today, you know that there is a question out there that I already told you what it is. Mm. And uh, so maybe there's people out there who already know one of the answers. I've also picked questions that are similar to questions we've had in the past. Oh. So you all know the answers to those as we discuss them in my little notes. Mm -hmm. How about that? Interesting. What do you guys think? Are we ready to get this thing going? Yeah, let's do I'm it. Ready. I think we are as ready as we can be. All <laughs> right. Let me get this game going. This is game or night 24 of trivia for us. Oh, wow. All right, here we go. Night 24 is off to the races. <laughs> A little quick there. That's all right. Good luck, everyone. Good That's luck, right. everybody. Have fun. All right, question one. one. Here we go. In 2014, Justin Bieber was arrested for DUI and drag racing in which city? New York, Miami, Pittsburgh, or St. Louis? Nikki in there right away knows the Jay Biebs. That's right. <laughs> you were probably the one racing him, weren't you? Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that is more than likely. I might have been there for that. percent getting it correct. Remember, the winner Ooh. of this one gets to Tammy. choose the topic. Tammy is in there. All right, Tammy, Tammy coming too. in right at the end. Congratulations. Tammy, nice yeah. to see you. Tammy, we have a, there's a special question for you. Uh -oh. I think it's in the second set. So after bingo, there is a special question just for Tammy. Oh, wow. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Yes, yeah, so... Jay Biebs, uh, he was discovered from his YouTube videos in 2008, just 10 years ago. Um, in January 23rd, 2014, he was arrested in Miami Beach with singer Cahil, Khalil? Khalil? Khalil. Khalil. On suspicion of DUI, driving with an over six month expired license and resisting arrest without violence. Uh, in August, the DUI case was settled with a plea bargain. Uh, he had to pay $500 fine attend a 12-hour anger management course, and uh, donate $50,000 to our kids, a local children's charity. Well, that's better than paying the jail. Yeah, that's right. yeah. yeah, that's a good thing. All right, good job, Jay Beeps. <laughs> He's come a long way. He's come a long yeah. way. All right, everybody, here we go. Question two coming up. A flip-flop separates which toes from the others? Little, none, they're all together, too smallest, or big? Chris L, getting that right away. 
is the big toe. Only 83% of you are fluent in shoe wear. Did you get that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I know how to how foot flops work. Did you, well, <laughs> did you guys get that right back yes, there? Yes, I did. Uh, no. I <laughs> misclicked. Flip flop was invented by the ancient Egyptians <gasps> in 1500 BC. <laughs> Uh, the current flip-flop descends from the Japanese Zorai, became popular after World War II when soldiers returning to the United States brought them back. Uh, they became popular footwear starting in the 1960s. I was arrested. Not arrested. Wait, Whoa. I'm like, wait, hey. what? Whoa. <laughs> I was heavily, Whoa. I, I was, uh, I don't know what you call it, charged with a crime while wearing flip-flops because I was riding a scooter with flip-flops. Yes. And, uh... And that's apparently illegal in Reno, Nevada, where I was doing this at the time. So did we just find out that Tony's an, a felon? <laughs> well, yeah. Is that? What happened? <laughs> so, yeah, they, they pulled me over, and it was two points on my driver's license. Oh, my gosh. What? And ri driving reckless in a park with children present is a one-point penalty <laughs> there. And so I had to go to court oh and boy. fight, and I was and I had a thing about being a shoe expert, and the judge, I had to plead no contest. And in the end, I ended up sp paying a small fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But did you get those two points off your license? Yeah, they never yeah. put them okay, on. I, I had to plead to something else. Like, uh, I no don't contest. remember what it was. Like, I think I had to plead to not having insurance, even though I had it. Just had to plead what? no contest. Yeah. Yeah, no, but they charged me. They, I, I don't know what you did. Boy. I don't know what I did oh either. I even boy. talked to a lawyer before. I stay I out of those things. <laughs> All right, anyways. <laughs> not a felon. Next question. Here we go. Three coming up. <laughs> That's what all felons say. <laughs> Which of these TV characters is in the show 24? This was the question leaked oh. to Facebook just not that long ago. Frank oh. Burns, Archie Bunker, Jack Bauer, or Marge Gunderson. Chris L. at the top of the leaderboard. Just a few points in front of Tammy. Of course, it is Jack Bauer. Everybody should know that. One of the best TV shows ever made. Uh, 24 co-creator Joel Cernow commented that they did not have any actors in mind for that part. We really did not know who it was when we were casting a lot of people. And then we heard Kiefer, Sh Kiefer Sutherland's name and thought that's Jack Bauer. In 2000, Sutherland, Sutherland was contacted by his friend, Stephen Ho Hopkins, who was working on the pilot for the experimental real-time TV show and offered him the lead. Initially, Sutherland had reservations about playing Bauer, stating, I thought this is really clever and different, so there's no way they're going to pick it up, but I could use the money and no one will ever <laughs> see it. <laughs> and that's where he got going. That's where he got Jack that's Bauer. Good. Uh, along the way, so yes. Jack Bauer's contract for the first three seasons was worth forty million dollars. Wow, not bad. Well, up my contract, <laughs> something in the forty million range. <laughs> All right, next question, number four, coming up, chasing down Chris. Which U.S. state is nicknamed the land of infinite variety? Nebraska, Kansas, South Dakota, or South Carolina? Nikki in there right away, knowing her trivia on this particular state. I mean, at South Dakota probably has to have a claim to something. I guess that must be <laughs> it. Nikki jumping to the top. Remember, winner tonight gets to pick the topic for next week's trivia. Did you know that? No, I just tried to think about what was there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> really. It could have been process of elimination. We know... Uh, let's see, South Carolina. I guess I don't know what any of these other yeah. ones are either. <laughs> I chose Kansas because nothing happens there. That's what I chose. But I right? saw somebody made a Facebook post that said, out here on the Great Plains, weather is more than a word. It's a constant companion. Some days it's a threat, and other days it's a cause for joy. Some days it's both. Storms roll up on us out here out of seemingly nowhere, and temperatures can fall and rise at the drop of a hat. That unpredictability of weather is one reason South Dakota is known as a land of infinite variety. Oh about that. Yes. If you live in South Dakota, check your sump pump regularly. That was the moral of that story. <laughs> I left out some of the details that were kind of boring. <laughs> but anyways. All right, here we go. Question number five coming up halfway there. Which classic Disney film oh. was released in 3D, re-released in 3D in September of 2011? Aladdin, Cinderella, Pinocchio, or The Lion King? Nikki knows it right away. It was The Lion King. Only 33% of you getting that right. Did you see that one? No. Oh. I mean, I've seen The Lion King. I didn't see the re-release. How come Pinocchio hasn't been re-released in 3D? I'll tell you why. Oh, oh, okay. In 2011, The Lion King was converted to 3D for a two-week limited theatrical reissue and subsequent 3D Blu-ray release. The film opened at number one spot on Friday, September 16th, with $8.9 and finished the weekend with $30.2 
ranking number one at the box office. This made The Lion King the first reissue release to earn the number one slot American weekend box office since Return of the Jedi. Oh, and I didn't paste it in. But then, so Disney did a whole bunch of remakes in 3D after that one. And each one got worse and worse reviews. Oh. And so they yeah. stopped. And they just stopped doing the 3D remakes. Yeah. That's what happened. So, yeah. You'll be waiting a little while for Pinocchio. <laughs> is that well, a Disney I mean, thing? I don't yeah, yeah. Pinocchio is so. Disney. I mean, like, his nose growing would be, like, oh, yeah. in that's 3D, true. maybe. I mean. Well, uh, I don't know. Who's the guy? Eisner? Who's Michael Eisner? Is he in charge of Disney? I think. Maybe give him a buzz. I, I'm pretty sure he'll never die, so. And Walt's yeah. brain is down there under Epcot Center, too. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> All right, right, question six. Here we go. Who's going to win tonight? How did Tammy, here it is. How did Tammy get rid of the jet ski in the 2014 film Tammy? This is for you, Tammy. She got it. There she is. <laughs> uh, thrown off a cliff. Exploded with dynamites. Let's see. Anybody getting that right? Oh, no. Nobody got no. it. Nope. Tammy was Tammy, not. Tammy, this was for you. I mean, <laughs> Tammy was not the most well-known or watched film. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, a Viking burial. I had never seen this movie. I'd never uh, even heard of it. I just saw the name Tammy and knew t Tammy was going to be playing tonight. So oh, I it's a modern movie. Yeah, 2014 yeah. comedy film written and uh, co-directed by Ben Falcone and produced, co-written, and starring Melissa McCarthy. Was she oh, I kind of remember she that. she in Saturday now. Night Live or something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Film also stars Susan Sarandon, Allison Janney, Gary Cole, Mark Duplass, Dan Aykroyd, Kathy Bates. Film received negative reviews from critics, but was a box office success, grossing over $100 million from a $20 million budget. It's so not bad. Not bad. That was for you, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, right. none of us saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, number seven. Here we go. What does Earth do to cause night and day? Reiterates, closes, rotates, opens. Nikki in there, three, four, four, four. Rotates is the answer. Everybody getting that one right. All right. Mason, you're having a rough night. That out there. was the first question I got right. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to uh, say anything. Well, I'm glad but that, that was the <laughs> one that you got right. It's I made sure I had. I, paid I don't close know. Attention. I think there are some flat earthers who would <laughs> debunk this. Yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Earth's graceful 24 hour rotation is one of the traits that makes our planet so friendly to life, allowing most parts of Earth to stay a nice, comfortable temperature as they are bathed in sunlight during the day and darkness at night. Each planet in the solar system has its own unique rotation. Mercury, close to the sun, takes 59 Earth days to rotate just once. Venus takes 243 Earth days to rotate. And Venus is rotating the opposite direction. How about mm. that? Good Let's stuff. See. Five billion years ago, our solar system had its beginning in a vast cloud of dust and gas. The cloud began to collapse, flattening into a giant disk. It rotated faster and faster, just as an ice skater spins faster and faster as she brings her arms in. Sun formed at the center, and the swirling gas and dust and the rest of the spinning disk clumped together to produce the planet's moons asteroids. There you go. Uh, we can use extremely accurate atomic clocks to measure exactly how much the rotation is slowing down. 100 years from now, a day will be about <laughs> two milliseconds longer. Oh, geez, that sounds awful. Yep. <laughs> Days are just dragging on. Yeah, yeah. two milliseconds in 100 years. All right, question eight. Nikki in the lead. Coming down to the wire here. Who's going to win and pick the topic for next week? Let's see. What was the FBI's first public enemy number one? John Dillinger, Clyde Barrow, Machine Gun Kelly, or Charles Starkweather? We had a question similar to this before. John Dillinger was the answer. Did you remember that? Nope. Oh. I did. Yes. I got that one. We had a question about John Dillinger a while back. And here it is again. Uh, yes, John Dillinger, enemy number one. And the interesting thing about this I found was that he was trying to have uh, plastic surgery to kind of hide who he was. So he had some distinctive moles, and he wanted to have them removed, and he also wanted to have his fingertips removed. So when he went in to have his moles removed, uh, they gave him, mm, let's see, did I copy it in here? No. They gave him some sort of uh, anesthesia. Anesthesia? Anesthesia. <laughs> and he almost died. He oh, jeez. They had to bring him back to life oh. first time through. Um, so they only took out his moles that time. And then uh, he went back and had his fingers done, and they kind of botched that as well. They, they had to take all of his skin off, and then they put his yeah. hands in acid. Ugh. Uh, so that he wouldn't leave fingerprints behind anymore. 
And the guy responsible for setting all this up mysteriously and accidentally fell to his death from the 19th floor of a banker's building. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, accidentally fell is what the ruling is. All right, where are we at here? Chris L. in the lead. Question nine coming up. Which animal can turn its stomach inside out? Starfish, groundhog, human, or whale? Chris L. picking that one up as well. 45-84. Anybody get that one right? Yes, 66. Right. Two-thirds of you getting that one right. Correct answer, of course, is a starfish. Makes sense. Do you know that? Nope. I didn't get it right either, <laughs> but it does make sense. Yeah, kind of crazy. I actually knew that. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, they have videos of it. Starfish it's eats so its really food creepy. outside of its body and then brings it inside. Uh, these sea stars feed by extending their stomach out of their mouths and then over the prey. The prey tissue is partially digested externally before the soup-like chowder is produced and yeah. drawn in. Yep. Researchers found that the starfish can do this because of a molecule which carries signals between neurons, which in turn cause the stomach to expand and retract. How about that? How about them apples? <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh here we are. Last boy. question. You know what? I think Chris L is going to take this away because it's going to be nearly impossible for anybody to catch him on this one. But let's see what happens. Next question. Question 10. Last one. Get some points. Here we go. How many patents are registered for Thomas oh, A. Edison? Oh. 0, 12, 121, or 1,093? Uh, the real question is how many of them are actually his own. <laughs> there we go. Yes, this was a rehash of one of the questions we had before, too, about Thomas uh, Edison. Yeah. Uh, over a thousand, Thomas Edison. But we do have a winner. Congratulations, Chris. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chris, stay tuned here. Chris, are you on Facebook? Is there a button to push? Uh, I'm talking to Chris. I'll be able to get the answer. For oh, me. okay. So let me let me tell you something about Thomas Edison here, uh, real quick, and then I'm going to get to this. Uh, yes, he has a total of 2,300 patents uh, worldwide, but 1,093 are in the United States. Uh, he did various inventions, including the phonograph, kinetoscope, the dictaphone, the electric lamp and the autographic printer. He even uh, invented the carbon microphone, like one we're talking into right now. All right, so Chris, your options for next week are 2000s trivia, science, world geography, and history, 1980s trivia, or, I, I know, I'm gonna give four though. Superheroes. Ooh. Oh, geez, I know what one I'd pick. Me too. <laughs> Did he? Ha does he have an answer? Uh, we're we're getting superheroes. You want superheroes? All right. Superheroes. Good choice. So we are going to do another round of trivia tonight after the games, so but that's going to be general trivia. Next Tuesday, we are going to be doing superhero trivia uh, at at the beginning. So awesome. at the six fifteen trivia session, it will be superheroes. Chris L has picked it. Where is Chris? He, is he on Facebook? Uh, no, I actually invited Chris L to play with us tonight. Okay, all right. So Perfect. very good, Chris. Picking superheroes. We are going to be ready for that one. And we've got games coming up. Do you want to give us our uh, list of games one more time? Oh, yeah. Coming up at 640 will be Winter Wonderland at 7. It's going to be Wipeout Blackout Bingo with a 55 ball starting at over $3,000. The large frame over 7,000 and the line went over 400 and we'll also be playing another round of wipeout blackout at 710. At 720 is going to be fishing derby for the large mouth starting at over 1,700 and the small mouth at 500. 740 will be our high low game it's going to be top dogs and at 8 p.m. will be a 56 ball cover all and we have a jackpot starting at over 10 Yep, <laughs> big prizes, and we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with Winter Wonderland. See you in a few.
TV presents. All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Mega Soda Game Night. We have a bunch of games on schedule yes. tonight. Hope you guys are having a great day. We are having a wet and wild time <laughs> here. Just before we went on, I as a little FYI, Nikki dumped water all over the yes. computer over here and all over myself. <laughs> So, luckily everything is still working. That is going to be a good luck thing for somebody. Somebody out so. there is going to win tonight, and yep. it's going to be because you dumped water on you. And that person is going to come back and say, can you dump water on yourself again nope. before every show? <laughs> right? Because that is going to help it's me your out. Good luck charm. All right. We are just minutes away from Winter Wonderland. 186 players already. 1580 bucks up for grabs here in this 10-minute 45 play flash bingo tournament game we're going to get that started right at 6 40 and boy do we have some fun in trivia we even had a, one of our regular trivia players tammy we had a question just for her about a movie called tammy and tammy said she'd never heard of that movie yeah. before that was for you tammy <laughs> yeah it did make a hundred million dollars but mostly out of the u.s oh well yeah through youtube ads yeah, those YouTube ads. But we did have some people to say hi to, didn't we? Uh, yeah. Trivia? Who did we need to say hi to? Who's Do out there? have some shout outs to give to Susan and Tammy, who never saw the Tammy movie. <laughs> Me either, Tammy. It's okay. Uh, Precious at the St. James Legion, and who wants to win tonight. All right, we'll <laughs> send some wins to the Legion. That sounds good. And uh, yeah, we got a bunch of games coming up tonight. You want to just do one more time before we get this game going, what our schedule oh, is? Oh, sure. Um, we're getting, uh, let's see, what is this? We are getting ready to play Winter Wonderland. And then after Winter Wonderland at 7 p.m. and 7.10, we'll be Wipeout Blackout. Back-to-back -back games with the large frame uh, starting at over $7,000. 7.20 will be Fishing Derby. And at 7.40 will be our high-low game, which is Top Dogs. At 8 p.m. will be the 56 ball cover. And we have a jackpot starting at over $10,000. Yep, so big prizes out there. Especially that large frame. That one is really hard yeah. to hit. you got to hit that large frame within uh, 45, 45 balls. balls. Yeah, and so we will see if anybody can do that tonight. Nobody's done it in quite a while. We've hit the line win. We've mm -hmm. hit the cover all in 55 balls. But hitting that large frame within 45 balls has been pretty hard. So we'll see if we can do that tonight. Remember to log in with your PGL account. If you don't have one, go to www.pgl.world. Sign up for an account. You can play in Season 3 of our Pilot Gambling League. Yes. Who knows, maybe that Pilot Cup can find its way to you. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. We are off to the races. And let us see who's out there playing tonight. It's always fun to see the names show up on the board, see who's our regulars, new players. There we go. Shenanigans, Cheer and Chow, one of our regular sites, always sharing stuff, posting stuff on Facebook every week. Nice to see you out there, Chris from Shenanigans. Ooh, Dicey with just one play, getting 11,000 points, moving into first. Playing at Moen's Bar. And there's Bob Barker and on the crunchy side, OTCS. Bob Barker plays trivia with us from yeah, time to yep. time. Didn't see you out there tonight, Bob Barker, but looks like you're doing good in this game. Terry at Shenanigans. Uh, we had saw a picture of you on Facebook from Shenanigans Cheer and Chow Facebook oh. from winning last week. Awesome. Bob Barker, first time you've been out here playing in a few weeks. Nice to see you out there. And there's Miss K in fourth at Trails Grill, and Miss K is currently first in the state. Why don't we go through our state sure. standings? How about that? In second, second in the state right now is Louie at St. James Eagle Post. Third is now showing at Trails Grill. Fourth is Nixon at Roseville VFW. Fifth is Lou Bear. Also at St. James Eagle Post, and six is Beaver at the Cabin Bar. Yep, so a lot of great players out there. Ooh, there's Gary B at the Village Inn in first place. Dean in ninth place at Neighbors Bar. Dicey still in second place. Court at Spinners in third. Miss K in fourth place at Trails Grill. Bob Barker OTCS at Crunchies. Fifth place. First place can be two hundred two dollars. Second place one forty one. Third one twenty one. Fourth one hundred one. Fifth eighty bucks. And look at all these PGL points you get to keep for season three.
Gary B, we haven't seen you in all over a year, it seems like. Nice to see you back. Village Inn. Let's see, Miss K currently in sixth and first in the state, placed second in this game back in March. Yeah. So there's the chicken man. Ninth place. Let's see who else we got out there. There's Pops at St. Cloud Eagles. Nice to see you out there, Pops. Gotta have my Pops. Court picking up 395 bucks as a big loser mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. Remember the high-low game coming up at 740? Is that when we're doing the high-low game tonight? Yes, at 740 is high-low, and it's going to be top dogs. Yeah, so uh, that's where losers are winners. Mm -hmm. and yeah. So Court picked up some money last time for doing terribly. There's Big Daddy 7 in 6th place. Miss K now in 7th. Bob Barker in 8th. Timmy Time, Bungalow in in ninth place. Remember those little yellow uh, progress bars indicate how many of the 45 plays each of these players has completed. Once they get all the way over to the right, those players will have no more plays left and can sit back, relax, and think about the next game. Speaking of thinking about the next game, we do trivia before and after the bingo tournaments every week. Uh, we do general trivia questions. We're going to do it tonight as well. Uh, but the winner of the first game gets to pick the topic for the, uh, the next trivia next week so the 615 trivia game next week is going to be about superheroes so if you yeah, know superheroes make sure you come in a little bit early play on your phone answer just 10 multiple choice questions if you answer the most correct and the fastest you are declared the winner dicey holding on that lead there are 15,000 points zedi croft public grub in second place pops now in third gary b in fourth and court at spinners bar in fifth place Oh, well, there's Pops jumping up to the front there. All 15, right. 15,000 points. Congratulations, Pops. Just 3,000 points separating first and ninth place. Gary B, big battle here between Gary B and Pops and Bowers. Everybody is right up there. So it might go down to the wire here. We've got about 5 minutes, 20 seconds to go. Remember, this is all charitable bingo. So we have some great organizations that benefit from us uh, being out here and having some fun. Yeah, one of our uh, top organizations this month is Merrick Inc. They're a nonprofit. They're dedicated to empowering adults with disabilities uh, through vo vocational and social opportunities and guiding them towards meeting their dreams and goals. Yep. Great organization. We've got mm -hmm. some videos from them. We play from time to time. A lot of great info. Great, great. I mean, that place is amazing. Yeah. I can't say enough good things about Merrick. There's Pops back on top. Remember, we've got the Wipeout Blackout doubleheader coming out right after this. Kind of shake things up. If you weren't here last week, we changed the schedule around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Seems like we like it a little bit more. Yeah, it's great. And we've got a Fishing Derby game. If you haven't played Fishing Derby yet, it is a blast. There are two progressives in there that you can win uh, at any time throughout that game. You don't have to be the first place finisher. You can win it on any individual play. And you cast, you get 45 casts. Is that how we did it? 50. 50, 50 casts, yeah. yeah. 45, 50. <laughs> Look at those extra casts. 50 tries at those progressives. Players are starting to wind up and finish their plays. Gary B, about 60% of the way down, I would, I would guess. Uh, but Pops there is finished. And in third place with 18,000 points, 1,000 back of Dicey. Ooh, Duffman out <laughs> there in 67th place. Nice. Yeah, two weeks oh ago, yeah. or last week, Duffman, trivia was on Simpsons because yep. Tristan won a couple weeks before that and named the Simpsons as the topic. That was pretty fun. That was really fun. Dicey back on top there, 19,465 points. Gary B in second. Pops holding on to third, but no plays oh. left. Let's see what happens. Gary B taken back first. 20,000 points for Gary B at the Village Inn. Seventh, eighth, and ninth, all out of plays. But Dicey and Gary B. And Zedai, top three players now, still have some plays left. Oh, there's Putsy in seventh at Winners seen Putsy on the leaderboard. Bob Barker joining the leaderboard again in ninth place. Nice to see you, Bob Barker. Let's 
Looks like Pops and Putsy, brand new players out yeah. there. Brand new PGL players. Nice to see you out there. I hope you're enjoying it. Let us know. Remember, you can follow along on Facebook. If you go to www.pgl.world, all the links are on there. Facebook, YouTube, whatever you want to watch us on, we are there. You can go watch us uh, tonight when you get home. You can watch the recap, um, or you can watch it live. Just click on it, like the page, then you know when we are live. Two minutes and 10 seconds to go. Gary B finishing at 20,975 points. Let's see if anybody can take him down. It's like most of our leaderboards finish their plays. If everybody finishes um, early, then we just stop. Usually some people just wait till the very end though. Yeah. Gary B in first, Bowers in sixth, Putsy in seventh, Court in eighth place, Bob Barker in ninth. And we are down to the last 90 seconds of this tournament. If you've got plays left, you might as well use them. It's hard to tell, Zedai may have a sliver over there. Some people use, I mean, one play can get you 10,000 points yep. or 11,000 points, so it is possible. Grumpy is a little angry about finishing 91st place. Well, that's okay, Grumpy. There is a lot more chances tonight. Starting up next with the Wipeout Blackout double header. Yes. Well, there we go. Poodle 66 oh. was doing great on Cinco de Mayo, right? Was that the day? Oh, yeah, yep. Uh, we had a 54 ball marathon on Cinco de Mayo, and Poodle 66 was on the leaderboard. It seemed like every single mm -hmm, game. A lot. Oh, and Poodle 66 was a winner in Fishing Derby last Ooh, week. Ooh, must have reeled in a big one. Fishing Derby is great. You get to choose from five locations, three fishing buddies, and nine lures. You can switch it up throughout the game, find out what's lucky, find out where they're biting, what they're biting on. And uh, it is a blast. I love playing that game. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We got our rod out here. Yeah. I'm going to have to remove this prop and take it to the, uh, where the ponds are Start here. Start really fishing. Yep. All right, 10 seconds to go. Right. Looks like we are done here. And after we make it official, we'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back with Wipeout Blackout, the first of two games, $7,100 on that large frame. It's been a while since anybody's hit that, so we'll mm -hmm. see what happens. Looks like Gary B enjoys the fact that you dumped water all over everything. <laughs> sure. Might be Gary lucky. B. Yeah. yeah, lucky, lucky for Gary B. Two hundred two bucks for first, one forty one for second, one twenty one for third, one hundred one. There right. we go. All right, congratulations. Congratulations, Gary B. Two hundred and two dollars, and we'll take a quick break and be right back with Wipeout Blackout Doubleheader.
TV presents. All right, hello everybody. We are back and we are ready to get this Wipeout Blackout doubleheader. We've got breaking news coming in from Facebook. Lou Bear will be back next All week. Right. So thanks for that tip. We always like to see our favorite players up there on leaderboard. I didn't see Lou Bear earlier tonight. And Lou Bear will be back next week. Awesome. So that is exciting. And remember, you can check in on Facebook, chat with other players. You can chat with us. We try to keep up with that as much as we can. We've got an, oh, and to find Facebook, you can go to uh, www.pgl.world. All the links are right there, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, all that sort of stuff. You can just click on it. You can follow along already. 200 players enrolled, $12,000 and change up. Ooh, there it is, exactly 400, 12,400. Yep. We've got three progressives in this one. Where are those three progressives Yes, at? the 55 ball cover I'll be starting at 3,200, the large frame over 7,000, and the that's within 45 balls, and the line win, with hit, if hit within eight balls, is at over 400. Yep, so a lot of chances out there. We're gonna give you two chances for each of those tonight. Uh, double header here, fast game. This game is fast, it's fun, and big, big prizes are out there. Yeah. Two and a half minutes to go. Had a lot of fun in Winter Wonderland mm -hmm. just a second ago. Gary B walking home with that one. Big win out there for a Gary B. Guess it's lucky for him when Nikki dumps water all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is a bad place to be dumping water all over. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of low voltage <laughs> electronics in this area. <laughs> but fortunately, they all survived. Yeah. Sparkling water. Yeah. Sparkling uh, water, shaken, not stirred. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Good combo. Everything survived. Everything did survive. Do you want to give us a rundown of the rest of the games tonight? Yes, absolutely. After Wipeout Blackout, at 7.20, we'll be playing Fishing Derby. We have a largemouth uh, jackpot. Is that what I call yeah. it? A largemouth jackpot starting at 1,700, and the smallmouth is starting at 500. At 7.40 is going to be our high-low game, which means the bottom five players win prizes, too, and it's going to be top dogs. At 8 p.m. is the 56-ball coverall, and we have a jackpot starting at over $10,000. Yep, so big, big, big 56-ball game coming up tonight. That will be our main event right at 8 o'clock, and we will see... Uh, oh, somebody's wished me. Tammy's saying happy birthday. Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> yes, my birthday is in two days. Still working on that list of presents I want. <laughs> You're an adult. When's the you How don't get presents. Do you have to have that finished by midnight before your birthday or the midnight after your birthday? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of behind. You're behind. I don't know what the deadline is. Better get with it. I'll, because I'll start working on it. The Amazon. <laughs> you have to have it done by two days now? Yeah. You need to give two days notice if you want something. All right, 222 players, lucky two, two little ducks all in a row there, three little ducks ready here, 36 seconds to go. And we will start to see who's going to win these three prizes tonight. If anybody can pick up these three progressives, line winning eight balls, large frame in 45, and the coverall within 55. We're going to find out here in just about 15 seconds. It's like 225 players ready to go. And this game. Remember, once this timer runs out, you got about 30 seconds. Hit that yep. play button and while one you, more time. Yep, while you get everything set up, I'm going to talk about another one of our organizations. It is the St. Carl Golden Gloves Boxing. They are a nonprofit that provides a supportive environment for athletes of all ages who are interested in pursuing competitive or non-competitive boxing training. They have a friendly atmosphere that allows members to foster, foster discipline, increase athleticism, and encourage healthy living and build a sense of community. Yeah, lots and lots of great organizations out there. It's so great to be a part of them. Be partnered with them. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let me just hit this button over here. 28 cards, two balls away. There we go. We got 21 cards, one ball away. Small adjustment. There we go. All right, we have a winner, Hannah. At Manterville and winner, triple seven. At Classic Bowl, Rudy Radio ball at Atomic nine. Star. All right, awesome. Ooh, Ruby Radio, I like that name. Three winners on that one, not the progressive prize though. Now we're looking for 
Somebody to win this large frame within 45 balls, $7,715 up for grabs at coveralls over 4,000 bucks. Four cards, eight balls away. Gabe, seven balls away out there in front, trying to get to this large frame. Gabe, five balls away on ball 26. Go. Lots of players now, five balls away, joining Gabe, including Disco, Redina John. Palms, four, five, six. Ball 34 coming down. 12 cards, five balls away. Grick out there in the lead. American Legion, Litchfield, four balls away. Naomi, three balls away. We are on ball 40. Here we go. Gift links. FMS Mitchy and Naomi two balls away. There we are, ball 45, didn't hit it again. Seven cards, two balls away now. 164 dollars for this large frame. Still possible to hit that coverall by ball 55. We've seen the large frame and the coverall hit on the same ball. Four cards, one ball away. Eight cards, one ball away now. Ball 55, no winner. All right, okay. so there's Letty, Letty Lou. Letty Lou and Tooth. <laughs> Great name. <laughs> oh, there oh. we go. Another winner. FMS Mitchie, the Flying Monkey. Famous Mitchie. Is that what that is? Famous Mitchie? Famous Mitchie. All right. Three patterns. We had three winners on the first one, two winners on the large frame, and F Famous Mitchie picking up that coverall on ball 58. No progressive winners. We are going to reset things and come back and do it all here again in just a second. One more chance to hit these three yeah. progressives, and uh, we will see you in a second.
TV presents. All right, hello everybody. We are back and we are ready for the second of the Wipeout Blackout doubleheader. No, we have lots of winners. Yes. And some decent prizes, but nobody hit those big progressives for right. that line one in eight balls or the frame in 45 balls yep. or the coverall in 55 balls. So all of those are back. Big prizes. Where are we at on those? All right. So the 55 ball is over 4,000. The large frame is over 7,500. And the line win is over 553. Wow. Those, or at 553. Yeah, those are some big prizes. And they're going to grow from there based on everybody enrolling and yeah. playing out. Already 229 players. More players in this game than were in the last one. So more people yeah. are jumping in for that second chance at winning these prizes tonight. And after this, we're going to go fishing. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and uh, fishing for some big prizes. Our uh, newest game coming up here in just a few minutes. Oh, yeah, we got our lures got out there. Got my stuff ready. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> stuff. <laughs> tackle. Got my tackle. <laughs> Bait and tackle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know what it's about. Yep. I've been fishing before. Yes, yeah. M more than once, too. <laughs> Remember, we went ocean fishing. Yeah, uh, I've been deep sea fishing. We went deep sea fishing. Yeah, that was I'm really allergic fun. to fish, so that's yeah. what kind of makes it funny. <laughs> Where did we catch all that mahi mahi? Was that Key West, uh, or was that Hilton Head Island? That was Hilton Head, I yeah. believe. That was a lot of fun. I've never caught so many of the fish in my that was my life. insane. Yeah. it was so fun. All right, here we go. Time for Wipeout Blackout. Let's see who's going to win these. Remember, you have a few seconds to, uh, to hit that play button one more time. That actually, might have been an Orange Beach. Could have been in Orange Beach. Oh, yeah, you're right. It could have been in Orange Beach. Can't remember. Though. Fished in a lot of places. Yep. All right, looking for these balls to drop. All right, well, you get that started. I'm going to talk about another one of our um, organizations. It's the Pelican Lake Conservation Club, a community organization that helps bring fun and activities to Commander and JJs like Bingo, the Spring Pig Roast, Fall Kraut Day, and much more. A lot, a lot of great organizations. I love hearing about those organizations. 8.02 for that line win. Can we hit it before ball eight? Five ball. There we go, last chance. Ball eight dropping right now. Nope, no winner. There we go, oh. there's a winner. A peach. PK. A PK. Maybe. Okay. Wow, how about it's a thud? <laughs> Was that four winners on that one? Let's see, let's go for Piche. Palms, four, five, six, thud. And neutral Mike, all winning that line when splitting that 103 bucks. Now let's go after that large frame by ball 45. Look at that total prize right. there, $8,132. Can we hit that large frame on or before ball 45? We will see already. RJ Bipes, six balls away. All right, four cards, six balls away. Georgie now five balls away. Things are changing so fast, yep. we can't even read it by the time it changes how it goes. I know. <laughs> Georgie four balls, Georgie three balls away now. Georgie three balls, that's what they call him. That's his nickname. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if you would want you saying that. <laughs> Georgie in April, three balls away. <laughs> 10 cards, three balls away. There we go, April two balls away now. Five chances here, we are on ball 40. Can we get to ball 45 and win this thing? Crazy. Big player in the state, two balls away now. Ball 43, 44. No oh. winners on ball. Man, that's going to continue over to next yep. week. That yep. large frame is hard to hit. Now let's see if we get that coverall by ball 55. We hit the coverall and a large frame on the same ball before, so it's still out there. Fish out there getting ready to go fishing here. And there's cra fishing Crazy is 18th in the state. Crazy. Oh, okay, yeah. 18th in the state. Crazy. Ball 55. What's going to happen? Oh. oh, we got a winner on fish, fish at Seltz Pub. No winner on that cover, although we're on ball 57 already. Chicken man out there. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, <laughs> wow. I almost said that. All <laughs> right. Big winner out there at Tootsie's. Wow. Congratulations <laughs> to the Penn 15 Club. Yeah, yep, exactly. Good job. All right. Congratulations, everybody. We are going to get things organized here for the Fishing Derby, and that is a 50-cast 15-minute game. Yep. So we will be uh, right back with Fishing Derby. Congratulations to all of our winners, and we'll be right back in just a second.
TV. All right, hello everybody, and we are back. Just finishing off our Wipeout Blackout doubleheader. And I don't think anybody's going to be able to hear you. <laughs> there we <Nope>. go. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. I couldn't hear myself either. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start fishing here. we got Fishing Derby coming up here. We've got a uh, bunch of anglers already. 218 anglers ready to play. Over $6,600 in prizes. And remember, you get to have 50 casts. Mm -hmm. uh, you can choose anywhere you want to fish, any of the five locations. And you get to also choose the location where you cast if you want to. You yep. can tap on the screen, and it'll and you can throw your line right right there wherever you tap. And uh, this is great. Choose your lure up in the corner there. You can click on your lure, and uh, and you get a choice of nine of them. And we're gonna cruise around the lake, see where people are fishing, see the hot spots, see who's doing the best in the different locations, what they're fishing with, who their fishing buddy is. And uh, that is always fun. But remember, it is a flash bingo tournament. 50 casts, 15 minutes. Oh, there we are. Three little ducks, 2-2-2 two, two, two again. Yeah. That's been a popular place to be tonight. And we'll be checking in with Tristan and Mason. They are currently at the Bay de Mort. Wasn't that my number in the 5K? Two, two, uh, yeah, I think it was, yeah. <laughs> Lucky. 5K this weekend. I mean, I didn't win or anything, but. <laughs> I don't know. You finished. <laughs> I finished. Yeah, Tristan and Mason are getting ready to head to the Bay de Mort right now, so hopefully we will see them shortly. <laughs> yeah, Tristan and Mason were not in the 5K this weekend. <laughs> 225, here we go. 225 anglers in the fishing derby, and let's get this one off to the races. And let's see where we end up. Start to see the anglers rolling in here anytime now. There we go. Carl out there at Bleachers, 1,800 points. And let's see if we've got our progressive amounts coming in here. Let's see in a second. Carl out there already. Mongo now, 33.50. Let's check in and see where our players are fishing, actually. A lot of players at Breezy Point I'm hearing, but let's check in with the map and see where we are at. There we go. There's oh, our yeah. map. And uh, we've got players, yes, lots of players at Breezy Point today drifting around out there yeah. fishing that largemouth jackpot, 2190, smallmouth at 725, dockside bar pretty good too, Bay de Mort, a lot of people in the bay, Eagle Island over there as well, Prosperity Harbor has a lot of players out there, uh, pretty, pretty interesting out there. We can even go in and check in with Tristan and Mason and see how they're doing. But right now we've got Georgie at Bleachers with 7,000 points. Remember, this is a 15-minute game. 13 minutes and 40 seconds to go. And let's check in uh, with Tristan and Mason. They are actually at Bay de Mort. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me unmute you guys there, and we'll go check it out. How are things out there, guys? Yes, hello, everyone. I mean, uh, a, a lot of people are, are scared of Bay de Mort, <laughs> it seems like. I mean, I'm not seeing a lot of people out here. Um, actually, Naya. Uh, I'm pretty sure just caught a really big fish. I, I just saw her catch one. Uh, and she's fishing with Matt, it looks like. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've heard oh, he's yeah. actually knows what he's talking about when it comes to fishing. Yeah, sometimes. We don't know all the time. Taught me quite a few <laughs> of my tricks that I know. <laughs> we got but your music playing out. We got some music for you guys. We can hear it. We like it. Uh, yeah, it also looks like Naya is, is using that first lure. Everyone seems to like that first lure. Yeah. All right, we got Big Daddy jumping up the lead here at Scarta is 13,000 points. Yeah. Now Nicole, there you go. Nicole, 1971, yeah. 2740. All right, guys, thanks. Uh, we'll check in with you guys a little bit. Maybe we'll go to Breezy Point next. Uh, but thanks for checking in there. Yeah, no I'll problem. I'll start swimming over the Breezy Point. All right. <laughs> I'll take the pontoon. <laughs> okay. Uh, but we're back here. Nicole, 1971, in first place, 27,000 points. Let can be in sixth. Dirty Kurt in seventh. Second place, we've got Big Daddy, seven. Nia in third. And Tom Miss in fourth with Tanda Tan Dams Craft Club in fifth place. We can actually drive around the lake if you want to see where everybody's fishing. Why don't we go ahead and do that? What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let me see if I can maneuver this boat around. There we go. And we can go check out our favorite locations here. There's the chicken man oh, yeah. fishing here at the dockside bar. It looks There's like Duff he's got Man Susie. Oh, Duffman yeah. over here. All right, let's go check out Duffman at Dick's Bar and Grill. 10,000 points. These are the top anglers in these different locations. And there we go, Chicken Man moving around. Who do we have here? Hoser. 
Get up, you hoser at Balka's Bar. <laughs> a little bit different music over here. Corn Kings, there you go, at Bex Pub. 15,000 right. points, Corn Kings. There you are, Nicole, 1971 oh, at yeah. Bex Pub. I can see that. Mike Wenner. See how many casts Can't they dance. have. Yep, there. Right. yep, there you go. Mike Wenner here. Ten spot Royalton. Twelve thousand points. Thirty-two casts remaining. And let's see. Let's go. Just check out the bay here. I think this is Eagle Island, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There's Bestie out there at G Allen's Traveler at the whistle stop. And there's Brick. All right, there's Noodles out there at St. James Legion, oh, 10,890. Yeah. How many cast Noodles have left? 30 some casts. All right, Mike Nice, ha, at MC's Dugout. <laughs> All right, let's transition ourselves back to us for a second here. That was kind of fun to cruise around on that lake. And we're back here in the studio yeah. after we got off that boat ride. And uh, we will have to check in with Tristan and Mason and see where they're at now. I believe they are at Breezy Point. Where are we at on the leaderboard? Nicole, 1971, still out there with 32,000 points. Big Daddy, 7th and 6th place. Shorty in 7th. Cowboy in 8th place. Mike, nice. We just saw him yeah. on his boat out yep. there in 2nd place. Fitty in 3rd. Genty in 4th. And Bestie in 5th place. So let's see if we can go back over there to Tristan and Mason where they are now at Breezy Point, and uh, let's see where we can get them here, Breezy Point. Let's try to get our cameras adjusted out there. It's kind of windy out there at Breezy it Point. It is. It's very Boy, crowded sure is cold out here. There too. we go. Now we got you guys. <laughs> okay. How are things at Breezy Point? It, it's super crowded out here. I mean, there are just a ton of people here right now. Uh, but Nicole, 1971, the leader is here too. It's like wherever we go, the leader seems to appear. Ooh, hmm. wow. We should start being like a, what do they call them? People that take people out fishing. Oh. Um, tour guide? I like we'll, it. We'll go tour guide. <laughs> I don't fishing think that's. Guide. Yeah, fishing, fishing guide. guide. Exactly. Yeah, fishing guide. We'll Charter fishing, fishing guide. Yeah. That's it. Charter that's what fishing. I was trying to think yeah, of. Um, but Fiddy, who's in second place, is also out here. And then um, T and Ams, they were actually on the uh, uh, leaderboard for a little bit. They're out here, too. So. Yeah, a lot of people fishing out here at Breezy Point. It awesome. is. You got to get on the south side of that island, I think, is where it's nice and calm. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a lot of people are, are kind of up near the uh, northeast side of the island. Okay. Well, uh, we couldn't even get the pontoon in there. <laughs> okay. They so. didn't want to hit anyone. <laughs> yeah. They threw right. stuff at us. Yeah, you don't want to interfere close. with the anglers yeah. out there. All right, well, we will check back in with you guys in a few minutes here. Maybe we'll go to Prosperity Island next. Who knows? All right. All see right. you over there. Or Prosperity Harbor. Not okay. <laughs> All right, we'll see you over there. All right, well, we're back here, and Tristan and Mason are going to be moving their boat around. Uh, but Nicole, 1971, 38,000 points. These are a lot of PGL points yeah. that you earned for these 50 casts. There you are out there. You. See you in seventh place. Hound yeah. Dogs in ninth place. And we can take a look at some of our anglers out there, uh, where they're at. Still over there. Breezy Point, quite popular. But we can also look at the lures people are using there. A lot of people using that first lure yep. haven't really switched it up that much. Uh, but some other people are moving all around. we got the Nightcrawler up there with 11% 11, 11 out there. Check out our buddies as well. Again, Susie yeah. is the top buddy out there. Everybody likes Susie. 34% with Pete. 48% with Susie. 17% with Matt. Nobody wants to fish with Matt today. I don't know why. That seems like a nice guy. Where are we at here? Nicole still holding on to that. JoJo in sixth. You in seventh. Bestie in eighth place. Fiddy in second. Mike Nice in third. Tan Dams in fourth place. And Gen T at Oleander in fifth place. Lots and lots of players out there doing good things. Catching some big fish. We'll see if anybody can get one of those progressives out there. Remember, if you catch that golden walleye, you get to go to that bonus round in yeah. the bait shop. And you can pick all sorts of items. Um, I think maybe we can check in with Tristan and Mason again. I think I just heard them turn off their engine out there. Uh, let me just check and see where they're at. I got to swing the camera into action here. And they look like they are at Prosperity Harbor. And looks pretty good out there. So let's Ooh, check yeah. it in with 
Tristan and Mason, guys, how are things in the harbor? Very well over here, Prosperity Harbor. Yeah, it's very prosperous, Ooh. you might say. Yes. <laughs> Did you just call Pink of that? Yes, I thought actually all night of that. I can tell Pink off. Anybody catch anything big out there? Uh, you know, I've been looking around, and uh, even though Prosperity Harbor is you know, kind of one of our, our more popular places, I'm not seeing a lot of people on the leaderboard from it. Huh. Yeah. I think everyone's using that fourth lure, and I think that one is scaring all the fish away today. Could yeah. be the wrong spot to do that. I see the water looks a little bit clearer there. Yeah, yeah. I. Mean, it's very nice. Uh, they dump a lot of chemicals into water, make it okay. very clear. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it's it's just very clear water over here at Prosperity Harbor. All right. Well, thanks for that update. Yeah. We're going to let you guys motor on over. Where are you guys going to head next to? Um, we should talk, check out Dockside Bar. Dockside Bar, because okay. we want to get a beer. I am very thirsty. All right, yeah, That's grab me reason. one, too. All right, we <laughs> will check in with you guys in just a second over there at the Dockside Bar. All right. <laughs> all right, that's Tristan and Mason, and they are heading around there, checking out all the hot spots and seeing how people are doing out there. Uh, we got about five and a half minutes to go. You look at those progress bars, that shows you how many of those 50 casts these anglers yep. have completed. Once they get all the way over to the right, they'll have no more left. And uh, won't be able to like, start flaying their fish out there. <laughs> like what? What are they going to do? <laughs> That's what they're going to do. Eighth yep. place, Rosebud, Gen T in ninth place. Five minutes to go. Uh, let's I have some shout outs. Okay, to yeah, do. let's do some shout outs. While you do some shout outs, you know, I'm just going to kind of cruise around yeah. on the lake. And that sounds yeah, it's like a good plan. I want to give a shout out to Shenanigans Cheer and Chow. Terry was a big winner there last week. Blame VFW, uh, William, Terry, Rob, Wanda, Linda, Dorothy, Rachel, David, Brent, Cindy, Gary, Heather, and I think, I believe they're all at the Blame VFW, and then Sonia, and now Showin. Oh, let's see, we have three T's, Bar and Grill, they're a new site, and the organization there is the Freeborn Legion, and I want to give a shout out to Mary out there. Ooh, very nice, Mary, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah. And we're looking around here. There's hound dogs. Hoot and owls. That's how you say it. Hoot and owls, yeah. Oh, there we go. Thud just took over first place, and I think we were just looking at him. Where right? we? No, we were looking at Rosebud. Oh, yeah. Thud is in Prosperity Harbor. Oh, okay. I'm not sure where you're at right now. I'm getting lost. I need a <laughs> GPS in this thing. It's a reckless driver. Reckless right around driving, over there. yeah. There's hound dogs. Let's see if we can find Thud. There's Shorty. Nia, TJ Duke out there fishing there. Sidetrack, 26,000 points. Some, t some of these places don't have their radio turned up too loud. Yeah, so Let's you got to get close you in You got to get close to see them. Yeah, Thud in first place, 51,000 points. Amy A out there at Depot Express. Boots out there as well. This we got Bestie out there at G. Allen's, mm -hmm. 27,000 points. I got to learn my map here. How do I get to Prosperity Harbor? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was close to it, but now I'm getting lost. Why don't You know what? I think we could just jump over uh, with Tristan and Mason maybe and see what they're, what they're seeing out there. They're, they're on the ground. Boots on the ground. Evade, there's Backwards Dave. Shenanigans, Cheer and Chow. And Nicole, 1971 out there at Beck's Pub. Well, we've got about two minutes and 50 seconds to go. Let us check in with Tristan and Mason. What do you think? See how they are doing out there um, at Prosper. Where are you guys at now? Dockside Bar. That is right. Dockside Bar. We swing. We camera. Was that camera eight? Okay. Uh, camera eight. There we go. Dockside bar. There you guys are. How's it going out there at the dockside bar? You know, it's going real nice mm -hmm. out at the dockside bar. Uh, I, I, not a lot of anglers out here. I was going to say, a lot of people are sitting at the bar with us, kind of chilling out, watching yeah. everyone else fish. Well, you know, time is yeah. winding down. We only got two minutes and 15 seconds, so might be a good time to tie up those boats, yeah. grab a beer, count the fish. Chill out for the night. That's right. In. Yeah. I mean, the only player I've seen out here was uh, Julmar, and they they fell off the leaderboard. They they started drinking some martinis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, guys. I think we'll wrap this up. There's only two minutes to go, so uh, we will bring it home. But thanks for being out there in the uh, in the wild. Yeah. I, I mean, the bar it. is not really that wild. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys, it gets wild. 
It will get wild. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe Thud will show up there in a few minutes. He is yeah. in first place here at the BNL Bar. So we will check in with you guys a little bit later. So Oops. Kind of cut them off right away. Yeah. Jeez. Woo. <laughs> Sorry. All right, one minute and a half to go. Thud in first place, 51,000 points. This is a ton of PGL points. Backwards, yeah. Dave in sixth oh, yeah. place. Yeah, it is. That's huge. Um, remember, it's anybody's game out there with our third season of PGL. And uh, we'll see what happens. Nicole, 1971 in second place. Winners in third. Fiddy in fourth. Mike Nice in fifth place. One minute to go. Get all those casts in. First place will be $540. Second place, 405 Third, 360. Fourth, 470. And we're going to be doing our high-low game after this where losers are winners. Remember, yep. if you're having bad luck out there, if it's bad luck for Nikki to dump water all over this uh, studio here <laughs> and all over these electronics, then uh, you might be in luck for the high-low games. Yes. Oh, Nicole might be just waiting for the end here, real close to Thud. Yeah. Last 30 seconds, one last cast. That largemouth jackpot, $2,190. We're watching our map here where everybody's at. Looks like everybody's headed to that dockside bar. Yeah. All the anglers heading in here. Five seconds to go. Big announcement, who's gonna win? Looks like it's gonna be Thud at the B&L bar. And Lily will be right back with the Hilo game. And it's top dogs, right? Yep, the Hilo will be top dogs. All right, let's make it official. There we go, All Thud right. at the BNL bar, $537. Big win out there for Thud. Congratulations on reeling in those big fish. And we're going to take a quick break and be right back with the Hilo game. Oh, man, I'm hungry. Mm. Uh, I never hello? get used to these early mornings. Mm. <gasps> Good. Now that I have your attention, this morning, we'll see if you losers can survive the obstacle course. To make it through this course will take guts, strength, determination, and intelligence. Unfortunately for you, these are all qualities you don't possess. To teach you how real recruits behave, I've asked these two gentlemen to join us for a demonstration. <laughs> They'll never make it. Boys! Let's show these losers how to conquer the obstacle course. Ready and go! Good work, men. See how easy this is? They're not even winded. Now, you pathetic weaklings, it's your turn. Hit the obstacle course. I don't expect much from any of you parasites, so I'm gonna make this easy on you. Don't come back to camp until at least one of you have made it through the entire course and over the wall. We'll be waiting for you at the finish line. Good luck, you'll need it. <laughs> yeah, no, this isn't happening. Can we just, can we just give up now? We'll never make it over that wall. Ugh, I'm wiped out. There's no way I'm gonna climb over that wall. Do you see how high that is? How does Sarge expect us to do this? 
<laughs> That's right. If you don't make it over that wall, everyone's gonna have to go back to the beginning. They'll never make it. Man, what a group of losers. Wait a sec. I have a plan. The Sarge said that at least one of us had to climb the wall, right? Yeah? So, what if we all help one of us reach the other side? Like a human pyramid, you know? I feel like you should be the base, Ox. <sighs> all right, Tommy, I will. Thank you. All we need to do is get into position, lift someone high enough so they can jump and land on the other side, and we are done. Ready, team? Three, two, one, break! Yeah, we did it! Nice work, what? team! Wait! Hold on a second! That's not fair! What? Wait! Yeah! All right! Well done, kids! Well done, kids. Oh, you did right. great! You two. <sighs> this is impossible! Yeah! <laughs> All right, we are back. And 30 <laughs> seconds to spare. That was a uh, quick turnaround yeah. there. $3,400. 20 or 200 players enrolled. Yes. <laughs> and we are ready for our top dog Hilo game where losers are winners. And just 10 seconds to go, and we are going to get this thing flipped over. And we will get it going. Remember, in order to be eligible for those loser prizes, you have to finish all 45 of your plays. This is a 10-minute 45-play flash bingo tournament. But if you finish all 45 of those plays, you are eligible for the loser prizes. Those yes. bottom players get cash. Cash money. Oh, yeah. First place, 400 bucks. Second place, 200. Third, 200. Fourth, 120. Fifth, 120. And that's the same for the worst player, $400. Second worst player, 200. Goes backwards. There's Tom Miss at Wico's in first place. Birdie 60 in sixth. CK3Ds at 3D Sports Moon in seventh. Shorty in eighth place. JoJo at station 57 now in first place. Usually around five minutes to go. We'll see who those losers are. Yep. Hey, there's Jay Mack in fourth place. Jay Mack was the winner of our Cinco de Mayo. Yep, yep. Jody, the winner of our Target gift card. Two hundred dollar Target yeah. gift card. Yeah, that's awesome. And Jay Mack is ninth in the state right Ooh, now. Oh yeah, so. all right. Yeah, that was a fun contest. We had a margarita, Minnesota themed margarita, yeah. and uh, Jay Mack's idea was the cinnamon toast crunch around the rim, and I have been enjoying Cinnamon Toast Crunch ever since then. <laughs> he has. He's been eating it now. Not on uh, Not margaritas. margaritas. I've just been having time. bowls just of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah. And I probably <laughs> haven't had Cinnamon Toast Crunch since I was like a kid. There's Maria Scar. It's 9,000 points. Oh, last week, Naomi, who's in second, won $100 in Fishing Derby. Ooh. So. Big Daddy is 15th right now and 7th. 7th, yeah, in the, in the state. state. Yep. There's, yeah, Naomi in 2nd, Warg in 3rd at Park Tavern, at Jamar in 4th, and Jojo in 5th at Station 57. Jamar at Rudolph's Redneck Roost. Rudolph always sharing our posts yes, and stuff like yeah. that on Facebook, so it's great to see you out there. And these are the short names, Marie, Dots, Tori, Aaron, and Eileen. Very <laughs> simple names out there. Aaron picking up the large M for a jackpot last week. Nice. Nice to see you out there. There's Jay and Silent Bob at Old Northrop Bar. JoJo at Station 57 in eighth place. Ambart MTs on eighth. There's Marie at Scarda's building on that lead now. 10,000 points. That fishing derby game is so fun. Yeah, it's a lot. We of got fun. a lot of buttons to click on, and we can drive around and see stuff. It's it's a blast. You guys are liking Fish and Derby? Let us know. Go on that Facebook page right now. You can comment on the video. Go to www.pgl.world and uh, click on the Facebook link. We are live to the entire world. Well, 
it's censored somewhere, though, isn't it? Probably in some yeah. places, yeah. Some places we are not live. <laughs> Airplane, ninth place. Naomi in second, Tori in third, Eileen in fourth, Christy at Tootsies in fifth place. Six and a half minutes to go. Some of these players have finished all 45 of their plays. That means the high-low losers are going to start to show up yeah. here any second now. There's yeah. Hapke, too, in eighth place at McPete Sports Bar. Jay and Silent Bob holding on in ninth place at Old Northrop Bar. Do we have losers this update? Let's see what comes in here. Yeah, yep. there we go. Cindy in 125th, Ace in 125th. First, Johnson, C. Johnson in 92nd, and Radina John at the Maple Tavern down there as well. Just saw now showing go scrolling by at 38th, and now showing is currently third in the state. All right. Ooh, and Louie scrolling by in 40th and is in second in the state. Louie defending champion, yeah. PGL champion. We had a, a picture a couple weeks ago with Louie and the Pilot Cup, and that is always great to see. Marie holding on to the lead there at Scarta's. Cindy now 150th place. Ace 148th at Kanitsky's. C. Johnson at Willard's 121st and Grumpy down there. Grumpy might want to cheer up, but I don't know if you got a low enough point total to hold on to some money there. C. Johnson, we haven't seen you in a while. Nice to have you back. the last time I saw you out here, but it seems like it's been a while. Marie in first place. Cindy now in 172nd place at Willard's Bar. Ace, 171st place at Kanitsky's. Z Marino. Now, Z Marino was a big, was our first loser, right? I believe so, yeah. The very first time we played yep. the high-low game, Z Marino was the worst in the state. So congratulations, Z Marino, for that big loss. And it's nice to see you losing again. Four minutes, 45 seconds to go. There's Tab out there, my favorite drink at the East Side Bar. We have our anniversary of the Hilo game coming up pretty soon. Oh, Z Marino, I may have been mistaken now. I thought he lost the first time, but it sounds like maybe the second one our, time. One of our, yeah. One of our very earliest losers, yes. Lanzell at third place, the neighbor's bar. Oh, Lanzell jumping up to the first place here. Oh. 13,590 points. We haven't seen you out here before, Lanzell. If you're new, let us know. Four minutes to go after this, we've got the 56 ball coverall. Where's that jackpot at? It is ov over 10,000. Over 10,000. So, it's yeah. going to be big. Who knows how many people are coming out tonight, but that could get to 13,000, 14,000. We'll see. Jay and Silent Bob moving off the leaderboard there, now in fourth place. Laker in sixth, Eagles Nest, Rob at Shenanigans in seventh place. Kim's Wild 59 in eighth place, and Tyler Blue at Park Tavern in ninth place. Cindy still holding on that lowest spot there with 5,220 points. That's pretty bad. Ace at Kanitsky's 5,200 points. Dicey back on the loser board. We saw Dicey as a winner earlier tonight or was kind of jumping around the winner board, leader board. Now jumping around the loser board. Three minutes to go. Make sure you use all those plays. Remember, you're only eligible for that high-low loser prize if you use all 45 of your plays. And a big daddy taking over the lead there in Scarta's 13,825 points. Z Marino holding on there at 189th place. Cindy now, though, been the top loser this entire time. Yeah. Still at uh, 5,220 points, but 193rd position now. I wasn't paying attention. Do you know how many people are in the game? Uh, <laughs> yeah, 200 players in the game, so uh, 193rd place is pretty bad. Yeah. Cindy in 196th place. Louie around 80th place, yep. top in the state. Or no, defending yep. champion, second in the state. Second, yep. Yeah, Miss K is first place. And we'll check in with Tristan Mason after the 56-ball game. 
uh, to see where everybody ended up, if we had any shakeups on the PGL leaderboard tonight. It's always exciting to see what happens. But we're going to play a little bit of MyBar.TV trivia before that as well, after the 56-ball game. And remember, next week's trivia is going to be superheroes. Uh, that's going to be the theme of that excited. starting at 6.15. So make sure you come on out. You play on your own phone. You think you're going to win? Um, I probably won't win, <laughs> but I do like superheroes. How is that? Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. I am not very good at superhero trivia, so I'm we'll sure at least I, I get I to pick the I don't think I will be either, but we'll see how difficult the questions are. We'll make a difference. 80 seconds to go. The ringer in sixth place at winners. Laker at Eagles Nest in seventh. Tyler Blue at Park Tavern in eighth place. And Robert Shenanigans in ninth place. But Big Daddy at Scard is holding on to that first place there. Cindy now in 197th place at Willard's Bar. Ace at Kanitsky's. Dicey at Moen's Bar in 195th place in Z Marino in 194th. Last minute, make sure you use all of those plays. You could be a big loser in this high-low game. Two players from Scarda is Big Daddy and Marie, first and third. Definitely not the place to lose. Yeah, listen to Louie's house party music. And after this, we will reset and be right back with that 56 ball game. Over $10,000 if somebody can win that coverall within 56 balls. 20 seconds to go. And during that uh, superhero themed trivia, we are going to unveil the next one of the next pull tab games. Yes. So that'll be a big sneak preview coming up on next Tuesday. All right, time is up. Let's see if we're going to be able to check in oh, with our Sarge here in a second. See who our losers are. First, we're going to award this Big Daddy, though. Scar is first and third. There's All right, Big Daddy, 398 bucks. All right, let us check in with Sarge here and see who our losers are. Why, you folks are the sorriest group of losers that I've ever laid eyes on. So, what do you have to say for yourselves? Yeah! Woo!
presents Mega Santa Game Everybody, we have made it to the main event. Over $15,000 in prizes. Two and a half minutes to go. 194 players enrolled. This is a 56 ball coverall game. Yes. Let's see if we can give away all of that tonight. Somebody's got to hit that coverall within 56 balls. We have three patterns. Line win. Any one of 12 ways. Uh, that's a must-go prize. Large M pattern is a must-go as well. Mm -hmm. No matter what number of balls, you'll get that prize. But that coverall... All goes back if we hit it on or before ball 56. Yes. And I am excited to see what happens. This has been growing for a while. But we'll see if we can do it tonight. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's May 15th. Summer officially starts in two weeks, right? Memorial Day weekend. Is that how that works? Yep. <laughs> that's how it works in my book. And that'd be a great way to start the summer. Yeah, for sure. You guys been enjoying the games tonight, including Fishing Derby. Everybody seems to have a blast with that one, as well as Wipeout Blackout. We had the double header there. Nobody hitting that large frame. So that's going to uh, be even bigger next week. But we'll check in with Tristan and Mason back there. They'll give us up to date yeah. PGL standings, jackpot values, all of that fun stuff coming up here after this game. 200 players even enrolled. 80 seconds to go. I was looking up the bingo calling world championships and I haven't figured out how to get you entered in that yet. I also started, as I was going down that route, I found uh, bingo world records. Oh. So they have the world's biggest bingo game with the most players was 450,000 people. Whoa, that's crazy. So I don't know if we'll be able to top that. It was in Japan, and everybody it was sponsored by Coke. Everybody got a Coke if they came and played bingo. Oh, wow. So 450,000 people showed up. Okay. Uh, what else did I see? The biggest bingo balls was there. Then I saw there's a guy holding a plate. Uh, just like It was almost like a flat board mm -hmm. with 75 bingo balls on it. And he has the world record for holding it still so that none of the balls fall off. Oh. But that was really short. It was like a minute and a half. That's easy. Why does it have to be bingo balls? Like well, it's the biggest bingo. I was looking for a bingo world records. I know, but why would you have bingo balls on a plate? I don't know, but he did, <laughs> and he did it for a minute, and they gave him a world record. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I could beat that. <laughs> do you think I could do that? I could probably do it on my head. I don't know. Time is winding down. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll have the... You can okay, try it. Go. I will try it. We I will try... We could do it live. Yeah. Why not? for the world record of holding bingo balls on a plate while a bingo game is taking place. Yeah, maybe we'll start a whole new category. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. All right, we are off to the races. Well, yeah, because I would take the ball off. Like, oh, wow, like that really would be really complicated. A real game. Now it's like Jenga, but with balls. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. We will see these balls falling any time now. <laughs> All right, B2, one little duck. For 200 cards, three balls away. Oh, 65, old age pension. 27 cards, two balls away. 
Oh, 67, made in heaven. $634 for that line win, $634 for that large M, and over 14,000 bucks for that coverall. Oh, 68, saving grace. 83 cards, two balls away. And 31, get up and run. Woo! <laughs> Time for fun, too. Yeah, it can work for both. <laughs> M34, ask for more. 160 cards, two balls away. B6, Tom Mix. 24 cards, two balls away. And 37, more than 11. They also have the world's record for the world's largest bingo card. Ooh. Which wasn't that big, actually. Huh. We could probably do that. Yep. G50, half a century. We could make the world's... We could, like, play it in the streets. Yeah, the, or, like, the world... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, 69, either way up. The world's largest online bingo card. We could get it on a projector and put it on the side of a building. Maybe. Oh, that could work. There oh, we go. Oh, Z Marino. Z Marino. Speak of the devil. Oh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> bingo. There we go. Z Marino and Gators splitting that $634. Congratulations, Z Marino's at Shooters. Gators at Gators Bar. And now we'll continue on on ball 12, looking for a large M winner, 634 bucks. B10, Teresa's Den. Six cards, six balls away. And 33, Dirty Knee. G53, stuck in a tree. Nine cards, six balls away now. Looking for people to get on the leaderboard here. Ball 15 coming down. G60, five dozen. 11 cards, six balls away. Oh, 63, tickle me, 63. Two cards, five balls away now. Winner, triple seven at Classic Bowl and Tyler Blue at Park Tavern. Oh, 61, Baker's Bun. Tattoo at East Cloud or East St. Cloud VFW showing up on the five ball away list. G48, four dozen. Mom Hiha now on the leaderboard. Nice to see you, Mom Hiha. I18, coming of age. Now five cards, five balls away. Grandpa, winner triple seven, Mom Hiha, Tyler Blue. And Tattoo, all five balls away now. I-29, rise and shine. Good morning. Oh, and Mom Hiha is eight in the, Ooh, eighth in the state. Right. And 40, naughty 40. Gabe, West Concord Municipal Liquor, five balls away. Grandpa Boudreaux's Bar, five balls away. G-56, was she worth it? There's Easy Cheese at Ronnie's Tavern. Haven't really seen Easy Cheese in a while, doesn't it seem like? Oh, tonight we have, I think. Yeah, maybe we have. <laughs> oh, 70. <laughs> Three score and 10. Mom, he have four thought. balls away. Maybe we have. Maybe I just didn't pay attention. Yeah. I, 23, B and me. Mom, he has still four balls away. Looking for a large M winner. Ball 25 coming down. And 45. Halfway there. And after this, we still have another round of MyBar.TV trivia. And Tristan and Mason have the wrap-up show coming, too. B15, Young and Keen. 11 cards, four balls away, including Tab, my favorite drink. I27, Gateway to Heaven. Famous Mitchie, three balls away, and Tattoo, three balls away. Famous, famous Mitchie won earlier tonight. Mm -hmm. M38, Christmas cake. I want some cake. Oh, birthday cake. Ooh, yeah. Oh, 75, strive and strive. What kind of birthday cake am I gonna get? Better put in your request soon. <laughs> G46, up to tricks. I could just get like a chocolate cake or I could do like a cheesecake of some kind. Or you can have more than one kind. Oh. B1, Kelly's Eye. I could do a chocolate cheesecake, like a peanut butter chocolate cheesecake. Well, I can't, can't cook, make that. No. 
<laughs> be 11, legs 11, but I can't find it. Two cards, two balls away. Looking for a large M winner, $634. I-26, pick and mix. There's Grimace. Grimace was the McDonald's guy, right? That purple yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 71. <laughs> Bang on the drum. Ace at Kanitsky's. One ball away. Oh, 66. Clickety click. Ace and Aaron, if your name starts with an A, you've got a chance yeah. at winning this one. I, 28, overweight. Ball 37 coming down. Remember, doesn't matter what ball we hit this large M on, but that coverall, $14,533, is going back only if somebody can win it on or before ball 56. Oh, 74, candy store. Aaron picking up that large M last week. G51, tweak of the thumb. Familiar territory for Aaron. Could win it on this ball, 39, but no. And 44, droopy drawers. Three cards, one ball away, tab, ace, and Aaron. B7, lucky seven. Tab, ace, Aaron, KSNS, Big Daddy 7, and tattoo now. One ball away, ball 41 coming down. Do we have a large M winner? No. I-30, dirty gertie. Eight cards, one ball away now. I-25, duck and dive. Nine cards, one ball away. Thud joined the leaderboard. Thud was, did Thud win the fishing derby? No. Thud was in first for a while, but not winning it. Here we go, ball 43, dramatic pause. Do we have a large M winner? Who is it? Tattoo. All right. Congratulations all to yourself, $634 jackpot. Here we go, looking for a coverall winner. Terry all the way out there, three balls away. April, four balls away. Terry at shenanigans, cheer and chow. G59, Brighton Line. Lots of players. Five balls away. Sammy, 10, was a big winner last week, right? Did we have Sammy on a winner slide? B14, Valentine's Day. Oops. B3. Terry, Sorry. 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 I don't remember how it goes. I was looking in the document for your oh. thing. Oh. <laughs> G52, Danny LaRue. See, when you go to the World Championships of Bingo Calling, they're going to try and throw stuff at you like that to see if you miss it. <laughs> you could just make it up. <laughs> oh, 62, turn on the screw. Oh. I was thinking of Sammy7 picking up a line ah, right a few weeks okay. ago. G58, make them wait. <laughs> all right, already a player two balls away. I-21, key of the door. Remember, ball 56 is the magic number. Two cards, two balls away. Can we award this coverall honor before ball 56? B-5, man alive. April <laughs> and meme, two balls away. Ball 52 coming down. I-19, goodbye team. Four more chances. Anybody going to win this, or are we going to carry it over to next week? Let's see. Ball 53, coming down. Oh, 72, six dozen. Tab, Dr. Back, April, Meme, Amex, and Putsy. Two balls away. Putsy, new player tonight. Yeah, B12, one dozen. Nine cards, two balls away. Two chances. Let's see. Ball 55. Anybody get closer? Anybody inch their way to one away on ball 55? B9, Doctor's Order. There we go, Putsy. Beginner's luck, let's see what happens. Ball 56 for Putsy for Whoa. the win. FTW, do we have a winner? Whoa. No. And 43, Damn. down on your knee. Now let's see Commander Bar joining Putsy on the leaderboard here. $1,585, still a big prize. I-24, two dozen. Six cards, one ball away now. Ball 58 coming down. Ball number doesn't matter anymore. I-17, Dancing Queen. Eight cards, one ball away. Who's going to take home this big prize? Remember, if more than one person gets this prize on the same ball, they split. Dramatic pause, ball 59. Do we have a winner? No. Oh, 73, Queen B. 
14 cards, one ball away now. Ball 60, about to drop. There we go. Bingo! All right, Grandpa, Grandpa. Boudreaux's bar, and the lock Bingo! man. Taking it home, split All that. Right. 792 for each of them. Congratulations. Gators and Z Marino splitting that line win tattoo, taking the large M all to yourself, and Grandpa and the Lockman splitting that coverall prize. Coverall will be back next week and be yeah. very large. We are going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with MyBar.TV trivia, and then we have the wrap-up show after that, so stick around. We've got lots more action, but the bingo games are done. We had a ton of winners, and yeah. we've got some big prizes coming back next week, but stick around. We're not done yet. All right, everybody, we are back, and we are back for some more MyBar.TV trivia, the game you play on your phone along with us. So if you pick out your phone and just go to MyBar.TV yes. in Safari or Chrome or whatever you got, um, you'll be able to play along with us. We're going to ask you ten questions, four multiple choices in each one. The faster you answer, the more points you get, and uh, we will see who the big winner is. Remember, next week we're doing superhero trivia, and uh, that is chosen by the winner of the first game. So that will be very, very exciting. How are you guys feeling for this one? I'm, I'm ready. feeling good. Not as exciting because I don't have the chance of picking next week's uh, <laughs> trivia thing. Well, this all one, you got to do is be a winner. Know. Yeah, yeah. And oh. that's it, Mason. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Well. Easy peasy. <laughs> it's happened once. It can happen again. Yeah, we are going to wait right. a few seconds here and get everybody enrolled and ready to go. Remember, just go to mybar.tv, type in your email and your name, and who knows, you may see a question about yourself. We had one for Tammy. Oh. Oh yeah, Tammy yeah. hadn't seen that movie, but the movie was called Tammy. <laughs> These are just general trivia questions, questions I thought were interesting, questions that were spinoffs from questions we've had in the past. Actually, I, I, sorry to interrupt, Tony. I just realized, so does that mean if you saw a movie called Tony or Anthony, you'd be like, I'm going to watch that? Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Okay. Because you never know, and it might be about me. That's that's very I'm true. Sure. It could be. I see that it logic there. Be. I like yeah. that. <laughs> you never know. I'm going to yeah. start looking for a Mason movie now. <laughs> yeah, look it up. <laughs> hmm. All right, I think we should get this thing going. What do you guys say? Oh, I'm ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. And including in this one, I'm going to give you a tip. Oh, Ooh. not only did I have a spinoff question, I put one back word for word. That was a zero before. Really? So we'll see if you guys are paying attention. Uh -oh. to okay. The answer, so. All right. <laughs> a and Mason was just selling, <laughs> showing me he found a movie called Mason. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when was it made? 2015. Oh, wow. What's the deal with uh, people making movies about trivia players nowadays? <laughs> it, it's apparently it sounds nothing like Mason. It's a suspenseful historical drama. For a television show. Oh, okay. That oh. pretty much describes your word. But <laughs> it's about <laughs> wait, wait, it's about a guy named Sam. <laughs> it's not even about a guy named Mason. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Sam geez. Mason. All right, here we go. We are starting game number <laughs> right. two. Let's All get right. this going. Here yep. we go. Game number two. Ten-second countdown. Uh, good luck, everybody. Have fun. That's right. I just can't wait till it's a Mason trivia night. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Question one. What is the most common eye color in the world? Blue, green, brown, blue, or green? Nope. I 
do not have the most common eye color in the world. I guessed. The <laughs> answer, Tammy playing. Nice to see you out there, Tammy. The answer is brown. We did have a question about what makes eyes different colors oh before, yeah. but this one is about how many percentage people have which eye color. And 55% of the world is brown, 8% is blue, 5 to 8% is hazel, and 2% is green. Um, I say I have green eyes, but after reading this, I think I might have hazel eyes. Mm -hmm. But my driver's license says green. I don't think they really care if you have hazel eyes or green eyes. <laughs> I may have lied <laughs> to some sort of government <laughs> official, though, is what I'm worried uh -oh. about. Oh, no. You just admitted that on TV. See, <laughs> and, and now you are going to become a felon. Yeah. At first, it starts with flip-flops on, yeah. on, on uh, skateboards. Yeah. <laughs> then it's lying to people at the DMV. Well, do what I can. All right, next Get question. Here we go. Question two coming up. What is the state fruit of Georgia? Peach, apple, strawberry, or pear? Nikki out there in the lead with 1545. Everybody getting this one right? Yes. It it's is Georgia is the peach state. Georgia peach. And uh, peaches are native to Asia, have been growing haphazardly in the United States ever since they were brought over by Europeans in the 17th century. <laughs> it wasn't until the latter half of the 1800s that aspiring horticulturists began to try and grow peach as an orchard crop. 1856, a Belgian father and son uh, purchased a plot of land in Augusta, Georgia, that would be Augusta, Augusta. That would become known as Fruitland. Their intention was to demonstrate that fruit and ornamental plants could become just as important an industry in the South as cotton, which was ruining the soil. <laughs> and that's how we got the Georgia peach. All right. I really want a peach now. Mm, that sounds really good. All right, question three. Let's see what happens. What do you get when you mix orange juice, vanilla, and vodka? Mad Vodka, Phillips Screwdriver, Tummy Fixer, Russian Rollade. I, I completely guessed. I never knew it was called a Phillips yeah, Screwdriver. Yeah. I I don't know. Screwdriver. It sounds good, though. I think a screwdriver is just orange juice and vodka. That though. is correct. Oh, screwdriver it's the is, vanilla. It's the vanilla that makes it a Phillips Screwdriver. Uh, a shot of vodka with a slice of orange is a cordless screwdriver. A <laughs> uh, screwdriver with equal parts vanilla, vodka, and blue uh, Krako. Topped with lemon line is a sonic screwdriver. Ooh. The screwdriver is first mentioned in 1944. Uh, a screwdriver, a drink compounded of vodka and orange juice and supposedly invented by American flyers. In 1949, the latest Yankee concoction of vodka and orange juice is called a screwdriver. <laughs> I just realized I just realized there are some nerds out there that really like alcohol. Yeah. That named something a sonic screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question four. Who's going to beat Nikki? Let's see what happens. How many sides are on a Rubik's Cube? Four, eight, two, or six? Oh, my, oh God. my, oh my gosh. Goodness. I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys missing oh. this one? I don't know. Nobody got it right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it, it, I'm done. I think oh that just I'm messed done. with I'm us. I'm done for the night, too. <laughs> we <laughs> all knew as soon as we did it. What did uh, you guys pick? Did you not four. hear the over of reaction? I yeah, know. I did. Four. <laughs> Everybody picked four? Wait, wait. Nikki, did you pick four? Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Everyone uh, picked four. That's the Rubik's what? Square. It's much uh, less challenging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my goodness. It's kind of embarrassing. World record. Maybe you guys probably won't get the world record <laughs> at solving these things. You, 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 would only you get have to realize. Four. Oh, there's two more sides? Right now, right now. The people that work above us are watching this going, we hired them. <laughs> yeah, <I Right>? know. <laughs> we hired these. They don't <laughs> even know what a cube is. <laughs> uh, world record oh, boy. for the regular Rubik's Cube is 4.22 seconds, held by Felix Zemdegs of Australia, set just last week. Jeez. Oh, wow. At the Cube one. for Cambodia contest. <laughs> um, average time, which is the middle three of five solve times average. Uh, it excludes the fastest and the slowest. This Felix Zemdegs also holds that one, which averages 5.8 seconds. Wow. He set that at the Malaysian Cube Open. This guy just goes around doing cube things in 2017. Why not? Uh, he also holds the world record for one-handed solving. World record for fastest one-handed solve is 6.88 seconds by Felix um, at the Canberra uh, Rubik's Cube convention in 2015. This guy wow. is unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean... Once you open them up, like, out of the box, there's actually a set path to solving it. Yeah, but I don't know I could do that in four seconds. I, I would not be able to do that either. And, of course, the yeah. YouTube video about him solving it in four seconds is, like, a minute long. I was about to say that. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's a like minute long. It's like the build-up? 58 long. seconds. There, there, there's, like, 
there's like a 10 second build up and then he solves it and then apparently everything just just erupts in applause 30 seconds yeah. of celebration yeah well <laughs> It's like when they have the guy walking across Ni Niagara Falls on the uh, tightrope. Yeah. That uh, took him all of 10 minutes, but it was a two-hour special. Yep. All right, here we go. Question five. What is the constellation in the shape of a winged horse called? Pisces, Phoenix, Hydrus, or Pegasus? I, oh, I really... Holding her head over here. I really had to pull on my Greek knowledge for this one, just in case. I like know what a Pegasus se is. is 75 percent of you. Tristan, jumping out to the lead there on that oh, one. I thought I would have that. Pegasus <laughs> is a constellation in the northern sky named after the winged horse Pegasus in Greek mythology. It was one of the 48 constellations listed by 2nd century astronomer Ptolemy. First letter of that name is a P, you say Ptolemy, and is one of the Silent. 88 constellations recognized today. Thank you, Ptolemy. It's like a pterodactyl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, next question six. Here we go. 75% of you getting that one right. Let's see what happens on this one. What are the four stages of metamorphosis oh. in insects? Larva, caterpillar, pop, pupa, adult, egg, pupa, larva, adult, egg, larva, pupa, I adult, got it right last egg, time. caterpillar, pupa, <laughs> adult. Too. I got it wrong this time. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I got it right this time. Going on? I, I got it right this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I couldn't focus. I thought I was going to throw you guys a bone out there. And Tristan, oh. the only one getting that one right. You threw me a bone. I'm pretty sure he got it wrong last time, too. I did. You were studying. <laughs> Egg, larva, pupa. Egg, larva, pupa, adult. Yes. That is the correct thing. And I don't have anything more to say on what that one. Pick? And you know what happened on that on accident? I just skipped over that one when I was replacing stuff. And I thought, <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to leave it in there and see what happens. <laughs> just see, see if they get it. Yeah. Oh see if they catch man. it. Maybe I'll bring it back next week. Is <laughs> <laughs> that anything to do with superheroes? <laughs> All right, question seven. Here we go. What are magnetrons used in? Elevators, DVD players, smoke detectors, or microwave Ooh, ovens? Really? Whoa, Nikki Oh, Nikki is two points behind <laughs> me. You guys are very wow. close. Half you get <laughs> wow. that right out there. Nikki just two points behind Tristan with her knowledge of magnetrons. Feeling the heat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> magnetrons are used you in microwaves. Those, Invisible, super energetic, short wavelength radio waves that travel at the speed of light, doing the important stuff in microwave ovens and radar navigation. Making, micro make, making microwaves is easy if you have the right equipment. A handy gadget called a magnetron. What is a magnetron? Magnetrons, according to Wikipedia, mag magnetrons are horribly complicated. No, really, they're horribly complicated. <laughs> That's the end. Good enough. <laughs> yeah. Is that simple, Wikipedia? Is that yeah, I was on Wikipedia for kids. <laughs> 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 All right. Next question. Number eight. Magnetron. Here we go. <laughs> How many major time zones oh, does the Earth have? 24, 100, 15, or 36? <laughs> Nikki losing out on that one, I guess. Was this on here before? No. No. Hmm. Uh, the correct answer is 24. Boy, everybody getting that one wrong, except uh, for Tristan. Yeah, hold on a second. I got that one yeah. right. <laughs> Tristan pulling that one, getting that one uh. right there. Yes, there are 24. In the late 1800s, a group of scientists figured out a way to divide the world into different time zones. In order to build the time zone map, they studied the Earth's movements. As the Earth rotates on its axis, it moves about 15 degrees every 60 minutes. After 24 hours, it has completed a full circle rotation of 360 degrees. They use this information to divide the planet into 24 sections. Each time zone is 15 degrees of longitudeness. Lots of emotes flying by. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping mine on my nice little rainbow puke. <laughs> Question nine coming up. Somebody going to beat Tristan? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Who makes the Pathfinder? Toyota, oh Ford, Kia, or Nissan? <laughs> Nissan. <laughs> Nissan. <laughs> Nissan. <laughs> hey, I'm asking the questions here. Is it like Liam Neeson? You didn't oh, even you get keep <laughs> taking my jokes. You didn't even get that right, Tristan. So you, you have no room. <laughs> I <to> did, <laughs> but still, I, I do like how you called it Neeson, Neeson. And maybe they do need Liam Neeson to do a <laughs> an ad for them. Neeson is Neeson. what he'll say, pointing at himself. Neeson, Neeson. then point at the car. <laughs> Nissan. Well, the Neeson oh. gave Nikki the lead there. The <laughs> Nissan Pathfinder, mid-size SUV manufactured by Nissan since 1986. They said in 2013-14, Pathfinders have transmission issues. Oh. <coughs> There's a lawsuit now. Uh-oh. 100,000 of them on the road. They use words like juddering, violent shuddering, and acceleration <laughs> oh, failure. That seems like a problem. A true safety hazard. I, I, I do <coughs> need to point out real fast. <laughs> Nissan, that commercial's copyright. My, okay? You have to pay me for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 
All right, where are we at here? Nikki, just a few points ahead of Tristan. Let's go, last question, number 10. Oh here we go, last question of the night. <laughs> what is papaphobia? Oh. Fear of getting old, fear of pizza, <laughs> fear of grandfathers, or fear of popes? The <laughs> thing is, I saw a band that uses the word Nobody. Pa papa for pope, and I didn't even get this right. Yes, papaphobia oh is the fear of the Pope. Oh my uh, gosh, that's a thing. It's a real, it's a real thing. The fear of the Pope uh, interfering with your life. You must seek seek <laughs> therapy. I mean, this has been a long day for treating it. Cognitive behavior talking. therapy is an option of treatment which focuses on helping one change their thinking patterns to reduce distress and anxiety. I mean, you can have a fear of anything. So. <clears throat> Group psychotherapy can also help where individuals share their experience. And in the process, understand and recover from their phobia. In the case of specific phobias like papaphobia, desensitization therapy can also help. The emotional and behavioral response of object of fear, in this case, fear of the Pope, is often a learned response. This can be altered through gradual exposure to the object of fear, which helps individuals change and replace their response using helpful ways mm. of reaction through new learning. All right. So slowly... Bring yourself near the Pope yeah. if you <laughs> suffer from papaphobia. Well, he's got that glass bubble around him. You can't get well, that. Well, does the new one have the glass bubble? Oh, yeah, I don't think they let him. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. They, they usually don't let the Pope go anywhere without the Pope. I got to look it up. Uh, we went to Italy in a few years ago, 1999, and we could have went and saw the Pope wave. And my aunt went and saw him. And it was a little teeny tiny window, and he came out and waved at everybody. He didn't come out. He just, like, went to the yeah. window and. So it anyways. does not look like the Pope Mobile has been retired, by yeah. the way. Oh, okay. Well, good to know. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at that. Thanks. All right. Congratulations, Nikki, on winning that one, 3440. Remember, next Yay! week, first round of trivia is superhero trivia, and we are unveiling a brand new pull yes. tab game yep. as part of that. Um, pieces sort of fell into place here, yes. and uh, we will be showing that one off next week. So uh, everybody stay tuned to that. But before we get to that, we want to hear – what happened tonight? I suspect lots of stuff. All right, yes. And just in case anyone is wondering, yes, I looked, and you there is medicine you can take for that phobia. <laughs> so just to get that out of the All way. Right, I might need that. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. Mason here. And I'm everyone's favorite, Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> everyone's favorite? Yeah, yeah, everyone's favorite. <laughs> how, wh how do you know that? I mean, I, I did a viewer poll. And on a scale of 1,000 to 1, uh, I was shown as the favorite. Wow. And what kind of margin of error did you use? Or was there? It was like wh around 1,000. <laughs> you know what? You just start your statistics. <laughs> I'm not even going to start. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's talk about our Pilot Gambling League. We actually had some shakeups this week in the top 10, which now looks like Miss K in first, Louie in second, now showing in third. No changes there, of course. But we had everyone's favorite Harley ri rider, Beaver, jumped two spots, Whoa. moving up to fourth place. That puts Nixon in fifth and Lou Bear in sixth. Yeah. And I think Lou Bear just, you know, may have g like come out of hibernation, and he's out fishing. I, yeah, I, I, don't I don't think he was playing is. tonight. They said he was going to be back next week, though. Next well, week, yeah. Well, he's, he's got some makeup to do, yep. but I believe in Lou Bear. <laughs> Big Daddy is in seventh, Mom Hee Haw is in eighth, and then J-Mac is in ninth followed by Don A. Howie in 10th. Uh, also, to all of our league players out there, I, I thought I wouldn't have to tell you guys this, okay? Like, I thought it would be self-explanatory, but you guys should really watch out for Crazy with a K, who is tearing through the leaderboard right now. Anyone that has the name Crazy, you, <laughs> you keep your eye on. Because Crazy, tonight alone, went from 18th to 15th place. Whoa. You have to keep wow. in mind, like, two weeks ago, Crazy was, like, 24th. So they are just moving through the leaderboard. Uh, and they didn't even make it into the 40,000 point club tonight because they were one of the seven players that made it into the 30,000 point club tonight. And, you know, like I said last week, it's not that big of a deal anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but with Fishing Derby, that's just kind of the cold hard truth. Yep. We did have two players, though, make it into the 40,000 point club All tonight. Right. And those happen to be Louie with 44,500 wow. points. And awesome. then we had Poodle 66 with 44,400 points. Now, Poodle 66 is a name we've seen a lot, and they must have just recently signed up for the Pilot Gambling League because they went from 25th tonight 
to 24th. So for the first night of being on the, the actual leaderboard, that's a good night. Yeah, good yeah. progress. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's really good. Um, by the way, have you guys ever like thought about why Miss K is in first place? Like Tony, Nikki, have you guys ever thought about it? No. Because she plays a lot? Well, she plays a lot, but I think it's because she is the only person scoring 50,210 points tonight, making her the highest point winner wow. of Mega Soda Game Night. Impressive. That's yes, awesome. exactly. Yeah, I, I mean, highest point winner tonight alone. Wow. Um, if she keeps this up, she, she has literally – Nothing to worry about. I, I guess yeah. I shouldn't say plays a lot, wins a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah she yep, wins a, <laughs> a lot. So, uh, Mason, what kind of progressives do we have tonight? All right. Well, just for everyone wondering, there was a total of almost $12,000 given out in prizes tonight. Wow. So make sure to join us a next lot. week if you uh, want to have a chance to win some money. Yeah. Uh, for tonight, during the Wipeout Blackout games, we had no winners take home the uh, progressive prizes. Uh, we had Rudy Radio, Hannah, Winner777, Tooth, Letty Lou. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> and FMF Mitchy were all able to take home some extra money tonight, uh, but nothing close to what that jackpot would have been. Uh, during the second game, we had Neutral Mike, uh, Pick, Palms456, Thud, Fish, and Pen15 Club were all <laughs> lucky winners during the second game. But they didn't have any, uh, luck. Sorry, enough luck to hit any of the progressives. Uh, right. Because there were zero progressive jackpots hit, that carry over or that progressive will carry over next week, with a starting value of four thousand seven hundred for the coverall. That's fifty-five balls within fifty-five balls. Nearly eight hundred for the large frame within forty-five balls. Uh, I think you mean. 8,000? 8,000. Oh. 8, what did I say? Uh, 800. <laughs> oh. You know, times that by a yeah. few. Yeah. <laughs> and 700 for the line win, which is wow. within eight balls. Awesome. For the main event of the night, the 56-ball jackpot jungle game, there was nearly 200 players out there playing for a chance to hit that nearly 15,000 coverall jackpot. Uh, there were a few close winners, uh, but no one was able to hit it within the 56 balls. Uh, that means next week that jackpot will carry over with a starting value of nearly thirteen thousand dollars. Wow! Yeah, and you know what? I am, I am just so ready for superheroes next week for trivia. Yeah, remember? Like, yeah, that is my thing. It it really is. I I'm kind of excited too. Yeah. I figured yeah. you would be since you've always been introducing yourself as not Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, well, I mean it's true. Like if it if if it weren't, I think Gotham City would be like in a lot of trouble. I don't quite know what you mean. Well, you know, I'm like, I'm like Ben Affleck, you know, <laughs> uh, oh, but okay. Ben Affleck that came off a four-year bender and severely <laughs> out of shape. Okay, I get you now. <laughs> yeah, I get right, you. right, right. Yeah. Back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, yes, I'm also looking forward to superheroes. And speaking of superheroes, uh, hey Tristan, can you can you dump in those last two pictures we just got? Yes, I can. We got a couple super winners. Um, that I want to get up here. So all four of us will stay on the air here just a second, and uh, we will get those pictures up there. We've got pictures coming in from where do we get these pictures from? We got them from East Cloud VFW, big winner out there. The jackpot, six hundred thirty-four dollars, and we've also got our big loser Dave um, hanging out at Shenanigans, uh, and it's Rob's birthday out there at Shenanigans. Hey, happy birthday, Rob. Happy yeah, birthday, happy Rob. birthday, Rob. Yep, so we'll get these pictures up here in just a second before we wrap things off. And yeah, what a night. Started out with some good trivia, bunch of games, fishing derby, wipeout uh, blackout. Uh, our winner, St. Cloud, or East St. Cloud, is actually up there right now. All right, let's get that picture up there. Looks like she's having fun. Yeah, the fishing derby was a lot of fun tonight. Oh, yeah. I like watching us drive the boat around. Yeah, that is always fun. Let's see here. East St. Cloud. There we go. All right, there's our winner at East St. Cloud having a blast out there. Congratulations. Big, big jackpot out there, over $600. Nice win out there. We'll put you in the uh, rotation for next week, too. Big winner out there. 
And let's see if we've got the picture from shenanigans coming in. We do. Uh, that that should be up there now. And there we go. And we should point out we don't know who is Rob and who is Dave uh, in the no. picture. We should know, <laughs> though. Isn't one of them backwards Dave? We've had backwards Dave on here before. But, yes, I don't remember exactly. You know what? One day I hope I'm featured on TV for winning a bunch of money. <laughs> 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 yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, that would be great. I think everybody wants that. Yeah. There we go. Here's the crew at Shenanigans. Happy birthday, Rob. All right. Congratulations, Dave. Everybody out there always having fun. Shenanigans are always sharing our pictures, posting their own pictures about Megasota Game Night. Um, all sorts of fun stuff out there at Shenanigans. Nice to see you guys out Looks there. Good. Yeah. And all definitely happy birthday, Rob. Yeah. Happy birthday, Rob. Yes, that is awesome. All uh, right. I think that is all we've got for tonight. What an amazing night with lots and lots of stuff. Oh, yeah. And good times. Uh, Nikki, you want to send us out of here? Yeah, thank you, everyone, for joining in. We can't wait to see you next week. Remember, when you play pilot games, your community wins. See you next, see you time. next time. Bye, everyone. See you everyone. <laughs>